And hello, everybody. I'm Jim Hughes. We're at the Natatorium tonight. It is uh, Athens in town, Oxford. Hey, it's Swim and Dive. We are happy to be back here to bring that to you right here on OCTV. I hope you can stay around. A lot of great uh, swimming and diving coming up next on Oxford Community Television. Hey, this is former Detroit Lion Rob Rubick and former Lapeer, Michigan school teacher. You're currently watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television. Enjoy it. National anthem that kicks off the 2022 campaign for the Oxford Wildcats and Troy Athens. Hopefully, you'll be able to join us. We got Dan's voice on camera. We got our main camera up on top, and I'm your host, Jim Hughes. Great to have you along with us. Coming up at the 200 medley relay, Oxford is represented in lane two, lane four, lane six, and lane number eight. We have the uh, timers, parents are timers. Uh, Athens represented in three, five, and seven for the first heat of the 200 medley relay. <laughs> Big house tonight. We got everybody on the, up on the top part of the natatorium. That's where we set up with our main camera. And we are ready for some swimming here uh, for 2022. And they'll get up on the podium and we'll see what they can do. Oxford and Athens, well, they, are, they start off in the water on the 200. We're missing a lane assignment here. Or actually we have, okay, there we go. And they'll be underway shortly and we'll see some swimming for 2022. We have an early start on that, and I'm not quite sure if that's going to be official. That's going to be a penalty, and I believe that's going to be lane number three. That should be possibly uh, Athens. They're rolling out. We might have had an early start there. Not quite sure. As they get ready for the big turnaround here. 30 seconds at the first round, and we already got the other singer, uh, swimmer off in, and it looks like it's Athens right now. Oxford in second. And they are uh, rolling off to a good start here on this first part of the uh, swim meet here. Great to have you along with us. I'm Jim Hughes, checking this out tonight with you from the Natatorium. Oxford and Athens running neck and neck. They both dive into the pool at the same time. I think Oxford might have had an advantage on that one. Oxford leading it right now with a 37-15 on the third leg. 
as they are rolling and uh, uh, the swimmers are all uh, jumping in. Uh, the, this is our third leg. Oxford and Athens running neck and neck. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. Athens looks like it's might be, uh, they might be rolling up to one for the next fourth and fourth in run in. And it looks like it's, uh, Athens picked up on that one at 29.44. Oxford had a close second. Those middle, uh, middle rows are you're going to want to watch. Again, everybody else swimming as well, but we're watching the middle. And it looks like Athens is off to a running start here. And it looks like it's going to be a 1-2 uh, Athens and Oxford. And that'll go to lane number five for Athens, two for Oxford. Coming in third is, uh, that's going to be an Oxford third, okay? Remind you, you're watching OCTV and uh, dive and swim tonight. Ladies up on the stands, ready for the roll. And they're off for the second event here, heat number one. It's the 200 free. The ladies are in the pool here. We're seeing where they're at. It looks like Oxford might have a lead on this one. Watch those middle lanes. That's where they seem to stack the fastest swimmers. Oxford looks like there could be a bit of a lead over Athens on this one. And again, we always want to emphasize it's about personal best. Oxford tags on that one. Does the flip. And it looks like it's Reagan Wolf, uh, Ellie Franklin for uh, Athens. Reagan's got a commanding lead. Well, she's uh, down by about, about a length. And Ellie Franklin coming very close. They're running neck and neck. They do the flip. And now it's on to the home stretch here. They're, they are neck and neck. Ellie Franklin and Reagan Wolf. Reagan looks like she might have a bit of a lead on this one. They are neck and neck. They are so close together there. And they'll do the flip. They flip simultaneously. Those are our lanes at number four and five, Reagan Wolf and four for Oxford. And it looks like maybe Athens uh, pulled away just a little bit here. That's Ellie Franklin. On the flip, she gets the command on the flip. Oxford still uh, in contention, but falling back, falling back. Reagan Wolf is going to come in second, and it looks like it's going to be Ellie Franklin on the finish. Well, no, they got another flip. My bad. Franklin's still holding there. She's holding a commanding lead. Reagan Wolf, a second for Oxford, uh, falling back a little bit. Looking over the lane, uh, the far lane over there, we have uh, another swimmer that's kind of running neck and neck too with Franklin. Commanding lead right now going to Ellie Franklin of Troy, Athens. We have Ash uh, Barbovina from Athens in the far lane doing well as well. Oxford's going to get a two on this one. It's going to be a third finish for Athens. It should be lane seven. Oh, anyway, this could be Oxford. Oxford takes two, three. Uh, we'll see where that finishes there. Uh, we had uh, lane number two down here. M. Chamberlain not showing a finish here as of yet. There we do. They officially give it to her. We have... Uh, Athens 1, Oxford 2, and 3. 
in a very exciting race there between Ellie Franklin and Reagan Wolf. Oxford scoring uh, with two and three in the last two, uh, two uh, heats. Very close there. Once again, we want to say uh, Reagan Wolf for Oxford. Very close on that one. We're going to jump to the 200 yard IM coming up next. Things should be going a little bit faster. The freeze still going on. The final swimmer rolls in, and everybody cheers that final swimmer no matter what. It's all about personal best. Again, we do care about the win, but we also care about the personal best that are scored in the pool. Anyways, great race there. That was an awesome race in the middle there with Reagan Wolf from Oxford and Ellie Franklin, who kind of pulled up in the last uh, three-quarters part of the race. Coming up again, we'll be doing another heat here. This will be our third heat tonight for uh, the girls' 200-yard IM. Looking forward to that. Looking for some flyers tonight in the diving portion of the uh, competition. We'll be here doing that as well. They added a new diving board here, and I did ask the coach. They're not using that tonight, but it's a, it's a, it's a high dive, pretty, uh, pretty substantial high dive here. They're, they're going to use the two smaller dives, but uh, a pretty good-sized diving board. At least it looks like that from up here at the uh, top uh, part of the natatorium. Once again, you're uh, great to have you with us tonight. It's uh, Oxford taking on Troy Athens. Oxford scoring pretty high with two and three in both. So now we're going to roll in with the girls 200 IM. And again, we'll roll down the uh, competition. Faith Frederick for Athens. Kira Solatis of Oxford. Claire Nelson of Athens. Maya Shelby. Maya Dominguez of Athens. Elise Bishop of Oxford. And Rena Rasman of Athens. Here we go. They're rolling for the 200 IM. And it looks like we might have an Oxford lead. Uh, an Oxford lead. Well, no, it's actually an Athens leader again in round five. Maya Shelby uh, coming in with a second for Oxford. Again, that's a 200 now. And it's an exciting night here, uh, watching all these swimmers doing what they got to do. That lane five is a powerful lane for Athens tonight. Lane four, Oxford had a close second. But that lane five has definitely been a nemesis to the uh, Oxford teams all night here. And the flip, Oxford will get back to it on lane four, Maya Shelby. Lane five is Kier Salud. Oh, no, I should say... Maya Dominguez for Athens in lane five. Maya Shelby, they both are Maya, but they, uh, they have them written uh, in different, uh, um, the Oxford Maya is M-Y-A. Athens is M-I-A. Two Mayas next to each other, different spellings. And Maya from uh, the Athens team uh, definitely going to work here. A pretty substantial lead on the 200. She'll make it back for another round. Again, it's uh, back and forth. Four times. It's a lot of effort they put into it. Strong uh, giving maybe uh, Oxford's Maya, uh, Maya Shelby a bit of a challenge. Another Athens contender here in lane number three. And that is Claire Nelson. Now it's Claire Nelson and Maya Shelby battling it for the second position and it look it looks like it might be a, a, a one two for Athens and Oxford with a uh, third on this one Maya Dominguez with number one uh, Claire Nelson uh, comes in with a two and that'll be a three for Maya Shelby for Oxford a lot of uh, big competition going on out there coming up next it's going to be the girls 50 yard freestyle and we have four heats in regards to this one four heats in the 50 style
And we wait for the last swimmer to make her uh, finish, and everybody's happy about that. The results, once again, Athens with a one and two, Oxford with three. Now we, we have four heats for the girls' 50 freestyle. This goes pretty fast. Angelina Mati for Athens, Ava Bunau uh, for Athens. There's actually only uh, two Oxford swimmers in the next heat. Carol Tellez Nunez and Josie Morris. You have two Oxford swimmers and they're represented in lane number four and lane six. Again, four heats on this one. They do go pretty fast. It's a 50 and it goes up and down back and that's it. We'll see a bunch of swimmers on this uh, th this one. Then we jump to the diving. Pardon my expression. We'll be going to diving, uh, which is a very exciting night for uh, the divers as well. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television. Great to have you along with us on OCTV. Once again, the four heats here. In the next few minutes, you're going to see well over 32 swimmers hit the pool. That's all part of the four heats. And the ladies will go up on the stands of the first heat, our first race of the four heat race. And they're in. Off to the races, we have Oxford and Athens, and watch them middle lanes, five and six. Lordina Tuwum for Athens, and Josie Morris for Oxford. And it'll be once up and down, and here we go. Oxford's trying to get, see what they can get going here. Athens, a very strong team. And Athens is gonna roll with the first place. Oxford will take second. In this one, that'll be Lordina Tawam, Noon Kelly Talaz of Oxford. A third spot will go to, and it looks like we have a tie for second with Oxford and Athens, a tie for two. They're not showing a third, they're showing a double two. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Exact same time on that. Okay, third is going to go to Athens. We have a tie for two. And that's a tie with Oxford and Athens. Athens kind of took that entire heat. Coming up, heat number two in the girls' 50. Heat two coming up. Get them up on the podium, on the uh, stands. We'll get ready for the second heat. As they're off into the pool for the second heat of the four heat race. Again, you're gonna see 32 different swimmers. And it looks like we have Possibly an Oxford swimmer doing very well right now in uh, 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 that five. No, that's actually Athens. Four is Oxford. Oxford looks like they are going to, it's going to be Athens, Oxford in two, and Elisa Moore. That would be Delaney Sikora. And we'll roll to the third heat of the four heat race next. Third heat coming up here. Mm. Oxford rolled in with a two with Delaney Sikora on that one. Third heat is coming up in this four heat race. 
They'll jump up on the stands. We'll have another heat after that, and then we jump to the diving. And they're off for the third heat. Here we go. Keeping an eye on those middle lanes. That's where we always stack our, our big uh, power swimmers. Molly Antino of uh, Oxford, number in the fourth lane. And Al Stemmers. And there we go. It's a 1-2. Oxford pulls in with two, one and two on that one. Oxford has a well, one, two, three. Uh, well, Athens only had one r r runner in the race, so it was a good chance Oxford was going to finish. Coming up fourth heat in the four-heat race. And here we go again. 32 swimmers. Uh, by the time this all plays out, you've seen 32 hit the pool. A lot of swimmers. And here we go, get ready for that fourth heat, and then we'll get ready for some diving. We're going to do that shortly. And they're off. And here we go, the big fast race to 50. After we come back from diving, we have a few races in there. The 100, 100 uh, freestyle, the 100 butterfly. And then, of course, that big 500 that we're all waiting for. It'll be Oxford 1, Oxford 2, Oxford 3 in that heat. So there you go, everyone. Rolling through the first half of swimming here at the Natatorium. We are going to take a slight break. We'll come back, and it's going to be diving in the pool. Coming up next on OCTV. Coming up, we'll get underway with our diving and uh, for the swim and dive tonight. Going to be a great night for that. Again, great to have you along with us. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. Thanks for watching OCTV and Oxford Swim and Dive. Okay, underway with our first diver here. Quite a busy natatorium here right now. Emma LaGianna going to be up on there. And again, she's doing a 401C degree of difficulty 1.4. Looking for what she can do. The judges will be making the uh, a determination here as she's on the board. She'll be our first flyer of the night. And she executes that pretty well. We'll see what the judges have to say. That is going to be, we'll see what the judges have to say in this. As they wait, and the score is a 4-5, 4-0, and a 5-0 all the way across. Doing really well with that last dive. Coming up, Emma Castonia. And she has a 401C degree of difficulty, 1-4. Pretty much the same dive uh, the our earlier diver had. And she's off and in. And 3-5, a 3-0, oh, and a 4 on that. Caitlin Barlow is doing a 401C again, degree of difficulty 1-4. All doing the same dive for their first dive tonight. She's in and down she goes. It looks like she executed that pretty well. We'll see what the judges have to say. Kate Dasko hits the board and she's going to do a, the same dive. And they're all doing the same rate uh, first dive, so they're pretty much matched on the 1 4 degree of difficulty. And she goes in, and we'll see what the judges have to say. 
4-0, 4-0, right across the board, all three judges on that. Sarah Kohlenberg with an inward die, 401C, degree of difficulty, a 1-4. Again, pretty much a match dive of everyone. In she goes, and we'll see what the judges have to say on that. Five oh six five and a five five, our strongest diver tonight. Tristan Krajarski. Again, that same dive. Everybody matching up on the dives, and she goes in there flawlessly as well. We'll see what she gets there, but our strong diver was our last one, Kohlenberg. Seven, 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 five. That is the strongest combat so far tonight. Reagan Burns is up next. Our strong dive, the last one, Jocelyn Riom. Reagan Burns again, same dive. They're all looking great tonight, actually. And in she goes, another flawless dive there. Strong. The swim and dive team here tonight. The diving is doing a great job here. And that's a 6-5, six, 6-5, five, six, five, and one judge said 4-5. I'm not sure what that was, but Emma Lajana, our first diver of the night. She's going to do an inward somersault, a 402C, a 1.6 degree of difficulty on that one. She was our first diver tonight. We have a strong set of divers here for Oxford and uh, Athens. She goes in the pool on the somersault. All right, next diver coming up. Let's see when uh, it's a four five four zero and a four zero. Not bad. Emma Castona. Same dive. There you go. They're all listed as the same dive. That's how they're doing it. Oh, uh, there you go. That was the problem right there. It's a 3 5, 3 0, 3 0. The judge had uh, corrected his score from a 9 5, which, uh, yeah, that would need a big correction there. Anyways, we'll go back to the diving now that the scoreboard is more in a line with itself. Caitlin Barlow, again, that same dive, inward somersault, 402C, 1-6 degree of difficulty. They're all lining up on the same set of dives so they, they can be judged fairly and accurately. In she goes, and we'll see what the judges have to say about this one. Caitlin will get a 3-5, a 4-5, and a 4-5 on that. Coming up, Kate Datsko. Again, I'll repeat it again, the inward somersault. 4-0-2, C, degree of difficulty, 1-6. She gets her board all set. And there you go. Pretty much it's Oxford competing against Oxford tonight. 6055 and a six. Coming up next, Sarah Kohlenberg had a strong dive in her last set. Doing that inward somersault 402 uh, degree of difficulty 1.6. And she goes down there. We had a lot of strong divers here. She had a strong score the last one. And that's going to be for Sarah. 
a three-five, five, and a five right across. Coming up, Tristan Krajikarski. She had a strong dive in her last one as well. Again, to say none of the ladies, they've all had strong dives out there. Very impressive team tonight. See what Tristan will get. Tristan here looking to see what she can get on the scoreboard. Judges making their decisions. 6-0, 5-0, and a 5-5. Tristan doing well. Coming up, Jocelyn Riom, who had a strong dive. I think she netted a 7 last time. Jocelyn here again, that same dive. In she goes. That was uh, flawless. 7 0, 7 0, and a 6 5. Jocelyn rolling through with the two sevens. Reagan Burns right now had a strong showing last dive. Again, same dive here uh, with a degree of difficulty of 2 2, though. And she goes, and we'll see what she can do. <laughs> Reagan has a big contingent of fans up here in the Natatorium. A 7 0, 6 5, and a 6. I believe that's what she got last time as well. Emma LaJana coming up, our first diver of the evening. And this new, a new dive will be a back dive. 201, degree of difficulty of 1 7. 201 A. She's our first diver of the night here. Back to the beginning. And Emma will come in with a... Four, five, a four, oh, and a three. Coming up, Emma Castonia. She's going to do a forward dive. She's switching it up on the 101 to C. Degree of difficulty, 1.2. She's flying. Let's see what she does with that one. 4-0, a 3-5, and a 3. Coming up, Caitlin Barlow with a forward dive, 101 C. Degree of difficulty, a 1-2. Caitlin Barlow. And flawless into the pool. And that should get her a good score. Let's see what she's got. 5 0, 5 0, and a 6. Coming up, Kate Datsko. Forward dive, 101 C, and 1 2. Again, degree of difficulty for Kate. Again, strong Oxford dive team representing themselves tonight. Actually, they're competing against themselves. In a sense, I mean, the score does go towards their win, but flawless on that one as well. Kate Datsko. Let's see what Kate nets. 7-0, a 6-5, and a 6. She's been pretty consistent all night with the diving uh, judges on that, netting a few 7-6-5s. Kohlenberg, back with you, Sarah Kohlenberg, and that's a back dive 201. See a 1-5 degree of difficulty here. Sarah's been scoring well as well. And flawless as she gets into the pool. <laughs> Tell you, a very strong Oxford dive team here. 4-5 and a 4-0 and a 5-5. Five, five. I would have gave her more myself, but I'm not a judge. Tristan... Krajikarski, and I'm hoping I am saying her name properly. She's got a forward one and a half somersault, 103, 17. She was off the board before we could even announce the dive. She wanted to get that one in and out. Let's see what she gets there, Tristan. A 6 0, 6 5, a 6 0, and the judges like it. Coming up, Jocelyn Riem, of course, another strong diver here. She's got a forward one and a half, 103, 16 degree of difficulty, and she is flying. Okay. 
great uh, execution there. We'll see what she gets. Again, these divers are all deserving a great score. 6-0, 6-5, and a 6-5. Reagan Burns, another uh, back through the, uh, the, the lineup here. 1-5 somersault. 2-0-3 C with a 2.0 degree of difficulty. Reagan scored uh, a few sevens on, on her first dives. Again, they're all scoring pretty high here tonight. She concentrates for her dive here, getting ready for the setup. And she's out and flying. See what Reagan nets. Reagan will get a 5-5, five, five, a 5-5, five, five, and a 6. Coming up, uh, Emma Lajana, once again, our first diver of the night. And it's going to be a back somersault, 2-0-2-1. No, I guess they're going to have to. I guess it is a back somersault. She's going to do the degree of difficulty of a 1-5 for Emma. And she gets into the pool. Second diver coming up. We'll see what Emma nets here on this last score. And that is going to be 3-0-3-0-3-0. Emma's been uh, pretty close to that all night long. Again, they're all still working on their programs. Second diver of the night. She's up. Emma Castonia. Back dive 201A with a 1-7. Emma, we'll see what she can get. 3-5, three, 3-0, three, oh, and a 3. And we are going to our next diver, which just seems to be going pretty fast right now. Caitlin Barlow. Caitlin Barlow ready for her dive. A forward one and a half somersault, 103 with a 1-6. And she gets into the pool. The score coming up for Caitlin. Four five, a four and a four five. Back to Kate Datsko again. Kate's getting her board set up. Forward one and a half at a 103 C. 1.6 degree of difficulty. Into the pool she goes. Kate Datsko is scoring pretty high lately. 7 0, 6 5, and 6. She's had a 7 in almost every one of her uh, dives tonight. Coming up, Sarah Kohlenberg, another strong diver for that Oxford team. She's had a few 7s uh, and 6s as well. Again, this dive team is definitely a strong team for Oxford. Sarah will get a 5-5, five, five, a 6, and a 6. Yep. Okay. Seven oh six five six five on Tristan. Jocelyn Riem on there. We'll see what she can get for her score here. Up and down into the pool she goes with that forward two somersaults. One oh four two two. Six five a seven and a five five. Reagan Burns back up on the board. Reagan Burns with a back somersault, one and a half twist, five two two three D a D, two point three degree of difficulty on this one. In the pool she goes. Six zero, six zero, and a five five. Back to our first diver of the night, Emma Lajana. 
Forward dive 101 with a C with a 1.2 degree of difficulty. And she gets a... Four five, a four zero, and a four five. Emma Gastonia up here with a forward somersault one zero two and a one four degree of difficulty. Ooh, she three five, a three zero, and a two five on that one. She probably needs to work on that one just a little bit more. Caitlin Barlow, the forward somersault with a twist uh, five one two two D. And a 1-9 degree of difficulty for Caitlin Barlow coming up. Again, they all need to work on something just a little bit. Uh, again, you know, they're just uh, fine-tuning their dives. Forward somersault with a twist. 5-1-2-2-D and a 1-9. The last diver, 4-0-3-0 and 3-5. That was Kate Barlow. Coming up, our next diver, Kate Datsko with a forward somersault twist one five one two two and a one nine degree of difficulty. Again on this dive, I do think Oxford needs to maybe work on this one a little bit. Uh, the uh, it's it, it's not as strong as some of the earlier stuff we were seeing. Again, I'm not a diver, so it's easy for me to say up here, but. This one seems to be causing the uh, young ladies a bit of a challenge. Sarah Kohlenberg on that same dive. We'll see what she can do. Again, they've ha all had a bit of a challenge on this forward 1.5 one, uh, 1 somersault. Except Sarah. And she gets a... Judges are going to like this one, I believe. Judges are going to see what they're going to give her on this one. A 5-5, five, 5-5, five, 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 and a 5-5. Five, five. That was the strongest part in this whole competition on that one dive. Coming up, Tristan Krajarkarski. Same dive. We'll see what she can do. But 5-5-5 five, five, five was the strongest so far on that dive. And we'll see what she gets. Tristan... Waiting for her five 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 five. They like that one as well. Coming up, Jocelyn Riem with a uh, back dive two hundred one C one point five degree of difficulty on this one. And she flawlessly executes that. It's going to be. 606055, she's the strongest one there. Coming up, Reagan Burns on a forward two somersault 104C with a 2 2. Reagan Burns have been strong all night with some sevens on her dives. And she flawlessly puts that one away too. That is going to most likely be a strong score for Reagan on that one. And then we'll be back. 7-5, seven, 7-0, seven, oh, and a 6-5. She scored the highest on that set. Emma Lajana, once again, she comes up. She was our first diver of the night. Not sure how many we're doing tonight here, but Emma's signing up for the forward somersault point half twist. 5-1-2-1-D one, one, with a 1-7 degree of difficulty. No score on that. Emma Castonia. Emma forward somersault with a half twist, and she'll go in with that one. No scores on that one either. Kate Barlow on the back somersault. So far, our first two have not executed the dive. 202C at a 1-5. Here we go. We'll see if Caitlin executes the dive. Oh. 
Caitlin does 5.5. Five, five, uh, five, 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 five. Kate Datsko with the back somersault. And we'll see if she can execute it. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Audio, we're back. Well, I guess we are back. Audio-wise, not sure why everybody, uh, there we go. Sarah Kohlenberg, we had Tristan coming up here for her dive. It's a 1.5 somersault, 203, degree of difficulty, 2. See what Tristan gets here. Again, we apologize for the earlier audio, but we got people moving down here all the way. 4-5, four, 4-5, five, four, five, and a 3-5. Jocelyn Reum up with a reverse dive, 3-0-1-1-6. She executes that perfectly. See what her score is for Jocelyn. 7 0 7 0 and a 6 5. Strong dive team again for Oxford tonight. Anybody taking on this team is definitely going to be in trouble. Reagan Burns on her dive and she goes into the pool. That score for Reagan is coming up here shortly. Five 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 oh five five and a four five. And that does wrap up the dives. They did a great job, everybody. They'll tabulate the scores. Once again, they'll be joining the uh, regulars back to swimming in a minute. We're gonna take a slight break. You've been watching Oxford Swim and Dive on OCTV. We're back in a moment. Okay, welcome back to the swim part of our swim and dive competition. Strong Oxford diving team we saw tonight. Not really, um, Athens wasn't represented on the dive side event. However, I mean, Oxford showing some very promising uh, effort with their dive team. And if uh, you're going to be taking on Oxford, you're probably going to be in trouble. They got a strong dive team this year. And uh, it was uh, evidently, you, I just saw the last part of our program. Uh, coming up, we'll have the 500 will be included in this part. We got about uh, six events to go. And uh, the big one, uh, the 500, everybody looks forward to that. We are going to get underway with the girls' 50 freestyle. And I do believe we have one heat on this one. And that should be, uh, actually, it's going to be the 100 butterfly. It should be. The scoreboard not really reflecting. It's still held up on the dives, I guess, or something. It's going to be the girls' 100 butterfly. Uh, 
And of course the scoreboard is jammed up. Well, we usually get about 50% of that, so we'll see if we can, they can get that thing rebooted. Makes it a little more difficult to do this when you don't have the scoreboard on your side. And this will be the girls 100 yard butterfly. And they'll reboot there, and there we're back on with the scoreboard. Not quite sure why that just always jams up at the halftime part. Not really showing the diver or the uh, swimmers here. You're just showing scores. And it looks like it's going to be most likely in Athens. Athens here going to come in with a solid one. Followed by Oxford in, I believe it's going to be lane three. Lane three and then lane six. One, two for... One for Athens and two, three for Oxford. They've been scoring like that most of the night. Coming up next, it'll be the 100 yard freestyle. Representing Athens, uh, pretty much all in this one Maddie Angelina, Ava Bunau, Shariva Swamanthan, and Sanvi Nargam. And we actually have four heats on this one as well. Taking a look at our scoreboard over there, and actually it was uh, an early present from the Oxford Bank. I want to thank them this year for helping us bring you football. Oxford Bank and Oxford Health Quest sponsoring our football games. Now we'll be there tomorrow night covering the big one, Lake Orion and Oxford. And again, we don't have our names listed here, but it's in Athens, uh, pretty much all Athens on this one. And the second heat here, or it's a girls senior 100 fly. This is the freestyle. The names finally hit the board. And it's all an Athens swim here on this one.
And they'll line up here for the second heat here in this one, the girls 100 freestyle. This will be uh, heavily uh, Athens with two Oxfords in it. And they're cheering for that last swimmer to make it their way in. And again, it's all about personal best, and they really want this one to finish. She's doing her best, and everybody's cheering her on. And they will cheer her on to the very end. Here we go. The whole natatorium is up, and that's what you got to love about swimming. And yes, there she does. She comes out of the pool. And again, everybody cheers the good stuff. That's all about personal best. Good stuff there uh, from lane number three. That would be Ava Benau from, uh, she's an Athens uh, person. Did a great job. As we roll through this one, uh, big uh, Oxford Athens, uh, Molly Antonu, we know Mike. Mike has a former Oxford student here, and he has a pizza place down in Rochester. His daughter swims here, swim here for the last two years. Good to have her, and she's in uh, lane number four right now. Oh, he And one of only two. One of only two lanes. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. One of only two lanes there. Our first went to Molly, in fact, coming up with a victory for Oxford. And we jumped down to two, went to Crystal Hensley. And number three was Delaney Sikora from Oxford. Again, to Oxford there. Molly of the one we were talking about at a 38.2. Wonderful job there. Again, Mike, her dad, former Oxford High School graduate, has a business down in uh, Rochester. He run, uh, runs a pizza business. He's always out here to see his daughter swim. And we, I believe we're going to have another, I think we have another heat here. Should be maybe, actually I think there's two more heats. Molly comes in first on that one. 
Mike's got to be proud of her for that. And this is going to be, I believe it'll be heat three of four here. Girls 100 free. Heat three of four here. Yep. Heat three. And they're off. They'll do another heat after that, and then we'll hit the 500. And uh, again, that 500 just seems to take the energy out of all of them. It's a very a, a demanding heat when they do the 500. Not that any of this isn't demanding, but it's way more demanding. Oxford being represented by Julian Knapp in lane four. Uh, Chris, Crystal Johnson in lane six. They make this turn around at, the, at that point. Let's we'll see if they can get something for Oxford. Oxford looks like it's winning so far, and that would be Julie Knapp. Followed closely by her cohort in crime, Crystal Johnson. One more heat after this, and again, we jump to the five, and that five is a very demanding, very demanding race. First time they sent us out here to do swimming, I could not believe the energy that is expounded in the pool on that 500. Well, right now we're still doing the girls 100 free in the third heat here, and it'll be Isabella Hurst from Oxford. Second will be Crystal Johnson, and third... Alyssa Moore. Julie Knapp comes in fourth there at 45. She was leading the race there. Well, uh, heat number four again. That'll be coming up next. And then we'll get ready for the big five. Hundred. Again, got all these swimmers and parents tonight out having a good time. Pretty packed auditorium tonight. Everybody enjoying the swimming and diving. And a great dive uh, representation here. You, uh, again, you can catch all of our sports on OCTV, our YouTube channel. They're there always. This will be up on there in a few days. And we also broadcast it on AT&T. And we broadcast it on the charter system as well. Here, Salotis. I believe Kier might have a, a brother Bay, a football player. I, I recall that name coming up. Could be wrong, though. And that'll be one Reagan Wolf. Oxford, second goes to Gwen Schaefer of uh, Athens, and then a third for Maya Shelby from Oxford. A 1-3 on the Oxford finish there. Big finish there for Oxford. Getting ready for the big 500 in just a moment. Waiting for the all swimmers are in. They make it official. And we will get ready for the big, uh, the race that we all like to watch, the 500. And that is a lot of energy that gets expounded in these young ladies. And you'll see the teammates on the five will line up on the far end to give their uh, swimmer teammates 
a little bit of a, 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 an advantage to know where they are in the pool and what lap they're in. Again, you'll see a full representation down there. Coming up on the 500 here now. From Oxford, Alex Foster. From Athens, Shiri Bela. Elise Bishop from Oxford. Ellie Franklin from Athens. Samantha O'Hare of Oxford. And Athens, Tanika Despande. They'll get up on the board, and here we go. And they're off for the 500. This is where you got to pace yourself on this race. If you don't, you'll find yourself in trouble at the end. <clears throat> and we'll be here. We're covering this whole thing. Again, we got a few more races after this one, but the 500 does take a bit to get through. Early on, we have Ellie Franklin from um, Athens. Salmon O'Haran from Oxford. Way too early to see what's going to happen as the swimmers will start to pace themselves out what they should be doing. And this race, as I say, does take a lot out of the young ladies, and everyone manages their own race. I mean, some choose to jump ahead and do it all and expound the energy through, and some choose to uh, turn it on in the end. And you have three swimmers right now that looks like they're, gonna, they're, they're trying to hold their energy. They know they got to hold on to it. You have two other swimmers that are off to the races and getting a far lead. Now, at the end, it'll all, we'll find out what, what proves, uh, what strategy proved to be the best. You got your teammates on the far end. They're putting down little cards to let them know where they're at. And right now, as I say, we are showing a lead right now with Elise Bishop at second. We are our first. I'll see where our first is. Alex Foster from Oxford's third. Number one, Ellie Franklin from Athens. Again, way too early, though, to uh, see what's going on. I mean, they turn it on in the end. The energy just starts to come out of the young ladies. Ellie Franklin still holding on with the uh, first place.
Chicking away about 4.32. It's going to be coming to a conclusion here shortly. Coming up, it's going to be a conclusion here. And it's an Oxford swimmer and an Athens swimmer. Lane number four. Elsie Bishop. They're given times here at the end uh, as they make their way to the uh, jump off point. And your first place finisher from Athens, Ellie Franklin, 547, Elise Bishop, or our second place will be, should be finishing up here. Second place will be, it looks like it might be an Athens swimmer. Strong finish by Ellie Franklin from Athens at 547, 65. I believe our Oxford uh, swimmer will finish up right here now, and she'll come in, Elise Bishop, at 6.30. Bishop hits second. Third, Alex Foster at a 6.37.84. Two strong finishes for Oxford. Coming in with an Athens. Fourth place, Saman uh, O'Hare. That would actually be an Oxford contender. 6.48. Athens uh, comes in on the 506th finish there. Tani Desprande. Oxford in strong with a 2, 3, and a 4. Of course, taking the big, uh, the checkers on that would be Ellie Franklin from Athens. Ellie with a time of 6.47.65. Still uh, two swimmers on, uh, out there on the water. Coming up, uh, lane number seven, Tani Despande with a, she'll have another lap to contend. And everybody will cheer for the, the, the uh, two last swimmers. Again, it's all about the personal bests. We say that often and we say it enough, but we want to just remind you, it's not just all about the win. It's about doing your best. And like I say, that 500 takes the gas out of you. One more lap for the young lady. I believe this might be our last lap on seven. It should be, we'll get our result here shortly. Number seven finishes it out with a, not sure if we're gonna get a score or a time on that one. Roughly about an 8.30 I would say. Sharia Bela from Athens. Everybody cheering her on. Trying to get it done on the 500. And she does complete her race. It should be finished right about now at about 9.12. But she does finish. Nine actually, Tani actually finished way better than that at 8.10. Uh, not quite sure why she's listed as a 920. 
Anyways, there you go, the 500 out of the way. The ladies are definitely uh, tired after that one. Coming up, the girls 200, and we have two heats there. Then the 100 and the 100 brushstroke, and that'll be it for the night. They'll tabulate the scores. Normally, they give us a score by now, but we are uh, underway with a few more races before we conclude this one. Again, great 500 there. Uh, good stuff there with the 500. And they're in the pool for the 200 free. Uh, it's an all-Oxford race here. And this one here is, uh, again, an all-Oxford relay, pretty much. We'll have uh, another heat after this. Uh, you got four swimmers on, there on this one. And the same applies for the next heat. Oxford showing a strong one here in lane four. Again, they're all Oxford, but uh, Oxford's lane four. Relay E. Relay E coming in uh, very strong. Uh, they were showing second. One more lane to come in. Everybody cheering them on. Relay F took the first, second went to E, and then G got three. Again, all Oxford. G comes in fourth. Now we uh, line up for the big one. Same race, second heat, and you got all lanes covered at four swimmers or a lane. And then we have uh, two more races after that, and we are home free. And we get ready for the second heat of this one. Oxford and Athens represented all the way down the line. You got relay C's, relay A, B, and then D.
And lane at number four for Oxford showing uh, Relay A doing really well. Showing some strong promise from the Oxford Relay team in A. Oxford's second relay team B doing well as well. And C, Oxford's got one, two, three in the relay so far. Nice switch off there and they'll see what they can do. But right now Oxford's showing some strong contention here. Again, they, uh, they have four on each, on their each relay team. Oxford down into the pool in lane four. Four is so far the strongest lane at 29.02, followed by another Oxford relay B at 29.15. Oxford competing against itself right now. And C at 36.17. Strong Oxford relays right now. It looks like it's going to be maybe a 1-2-3 for Oxford on this event. And Relay A will get Oxford, and that'll be their completion there. Two goes to Relay B. And it might be an Athens on three. We'll find out here shortly. Athens rolls in with a third place on their B. So Oxford strong A with the second place in the Relay B team. Good stuff there. Relay A came in at 155.10. Two was at one, two minutes even. Three at a 207.41. One team still out on the deck. And that's Relay D for Oxford, and they'll finish up, though. Everybody will start cheering them on. Relay A might have just DQ'd themselves. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but... They got out of, they're supposed to stay in the water, I believe. Okay, it'll go to Oxford one, Oxford two, three goes to Athens on the relay. Coming up our next event. We have two more before we end the night. It's gonna be girls 100 backstroke and then the girls 100 breaststroke. Represented by Oxford, Emma Chamberlain, Hannah Rafael, and Athens, Megan Pavlock in, from Oxford, Gwen Schaefer from Athens, Cheyenne Frank of Oxford, and Athens, Ashwika Barbonia. This here is the backstroke. And it's going to be four and five. Four is Oxford, Megan Pavlock. Five, Gwen Schaefer. They're neck and neck. They're neck and neck. Maybe a little bit of a lead by Athens on this one. It'll be, they'll flip it at the corner there. One more time down and back. And they are neck and neck. It's lanes four and five. Gwen Schaefer from Athens got the lead so far. Megan Pavlock with her. Pavlock sticking with her, a little bit of a gain by uh, uh, Schaefer. Schaefer gets around the turn. Pavlock is a little bit behind on that one. It's going to be Schaefer and Pavlock, it looks like. Strong contention back here in lane number two. Ch M. Chamberlain from Oxford. It's going to be a 1-2 on there. Oxford competing, and it's going to be lane number two gets the second slot. Three goes to M. Egan Pavlock. It'll be a one Athens, two Oxford, uh, third Oxford finish.
And they finish up that race. One more race to go, and we are complete. We'll get the final score, and we'll find out who won. Again, it's a lot about personal bests today. And Oxford's showing pretty strong contention here. A lot of two and threes they get, but that'll, that'll show good on the score. Next one coming up is going to be the 100 breaststroke. Athens, Sanvi, Nagram. Anna Waite from Oxford. Gina H. from Athens. Nora Wright from Oxford. Claire Nelson from Athens. Bella Delano from Oxford. Susanna M. from Athens. And Ella Martin from Oxford. That'll be the last race of the night. And they're in. I Nope, my bad. We do have another race after that. Another relay, it looks like. It's going to be the 400-yard breaststroke. That'll be the last race, event number 12. There you go. I did not see that until just now. So we have this one and another one coming up. And that'll wrap it here from the natatorium. A big night here again. Slow at some points. They'll get the bugs knocked out of that scoreboard, hopefully. As they oh, finish on this one, again, we'll have a big relay in the 12th event, the 400. Oxford showing some strong competition here. Oxford leads this one. Neck and neck over there on the other two lanes. Oxford wins with Nora Wright. Claire Nelson from Athens, and our second comes to Bella Delano. It's a 1-2 for Oxford on this event. Bella Delano with two. Claire Nelson, three, four. Ella Martin from Oxford. Now the big race, the 400 relay, and then we are done for the night. As we get ready for the final competition, again, a great night of swimming here and dive. We'll be back again. You can catch us on OCTV. You can all of our ga uh, games and sporting events go on YouTube a few days after we broadcast them. So look on our YouTube page. You'll see the entire swim meet. Coming up, the 400 relay. This does entail four uh, competitors per lane, and we got all lanes covered. I'm not sure what the score is right now. I'd have to say it's evenly matched right now. I, I mean, I, Athens might have an, a lead there. They've had a lot of first places. Again, we'll have to see where the score falls. Not sure what the score is. They usually give us an update by about now. Our last event here. And they're off to the races here. Relay D for Athens. And we have a full relay team. <laughs> uh, uh, we will uh, be uh, happy to get you the score when we get it. And 
And again, four per uh, a lane. And we got full coverage on all the lanes here. Lane eight, the only idle lane. And it's been a great night. Thank you for stopping by watching this tonight. And we are about to finish up here shortly. Uh, Athens leading this one right now as we stand. Oxford at a close second. And we'll be keeping an eye on the pool here to see who does what. And it is looking like it's going to be an Athens finish on this one. Relay A for Athens rolls out with a 212. This might be a pool record here. Relay team number one for Athens will finish up at a 314. Relay team A for Oxford at a 319. They're still off to the races. The race still continues. It looks like it's going to be Athens on the Relay A team. Followed by Oxford. So this should finish it up in five. And they still have another turn to make. But Athens leading it way, probably by about four or five lengths. Oxford will be a close second there, but they, uh, Athens in the uh, lane four seems to have run away with it. Or that's Oxford now, uh, lane uh, five, I should say. At a 4.15, lane five, uh, five for uh, Athens. At a 4.20, second goes to Oxford. Who will get third? We'll figure it out. One, two, we don't have a three listed. Three goes to Oxford, relay B. As they are finishing up here with the 400, again, they'll give us a score at the end here. Still have one diver or one uh, swimmer to hit it out there, and this is lane one.
And we're just about to finish the meet up here. And a long night of uh, swimming and dive, a lot of great competition. Again, personal best, always the best. Uh, trying to, ladies getting it done. And there you go. We still have one swimmer left out to do another lap here. And that is our uh, lane number one here for Athens. She has a lot to cover here and she's gonna do it. Again, the whole natatorium cheering for her to get it done. Even the Oxford uh, swimmers are all there cheering her on. Make a lot of noise for her. It's about personal best, here we go. And she is swimming her arms off there. Unbelievable stuff there. And again, everybody cheering her on to get that race complete. And that's how they do it here. The one thing in any sport that I've seen, it's always this swimming that cheers on the opposing team because they're all swimmers. And she finishes the race. Everybody cheers. That's great stuff. Anyways, Oxford uh, with a second and a third on that with the A of uh, Athens picking up the win. We'll find out what the score is, but again, a lot of great personal accomplishments tonight. And they're helping her out of the pool again. A lot of effort to go in uh, to uh, both sides of, uh, of the competition. And again, waiting for the final score here. Again, we appreciate you dialing us up. Make sure to dial us up on our YouTube page. Again, we'll be at the Oxford football game tomorrow. Big game with Lake Orion and Oxford in the uh, big Oxford football stadium. Catch all of our sporting events on YouTube, Oxford Community Television. And we are waiting for a score anxiously right now. I'm not sure what the score is, but we are going to wait for it here for a second. As they tabulate the score, we're waiting for it. And that's going to wrap it here from the Natatorium. Oxford comes in with a victory. 113 over like 63.5. They were tabulating it. I mean, I think they were using an abacus down there. Not quite sure. But anyways, Oxford comes in with the victory. Strong swim, strong dive tonight. Jim Hughes for Dan's Weiss. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching Oxford. <laughs>